Good morning. I'm Chad Thompson, and here is your Channel 7 News Update. Around the world at this hour, the United States is frantically trying to get supplies to Puerto Rico as the country is trying to recover from Hurricane Maria last week. According to multiple sources on the island, nearly 3.4 million people are without power, food, and water. Only 21 out of 69 hospitals in Puerto Rico have power or fuel. On the mainland of the U.S., President Trump warned North, North Korea of devastating military action if they choose to shoot down any U.S. war airplanes. This is just another chapter in the feud between Trump and North Korea leader Kim Jong-un as North Korea has been firing ballistic missiles over Japan for the past few weeks, despite warning to stop by the U.S. and United Nations. Big news was announced for downtown Wichita yesterday as Trans-Pacific Properties purchased land across the street from Interest Bank Arena. There is no firm plan at this point on what will be built. However, speculation is there will be retail and residential properties. Here at Rose Hill High School today, as Community Service Day, class assignments are in the commons. Be sure to watch Channel 7 News next Friday as Dakota Morgan will have an in-depth look at today's events. Other key events this week, tomorrow will be Animal Day and Friday will be color, Class Colors Day. The homecoming football game will be 7 o'clock Friday, and the, game will and the dance will follow the game until 11 o'clock. Next week, Life Touch Pictures Retake Day will be Tuesday after in the afternoon in the auditorium. Make sure to get a picture packet in the office. Seniors, if you do not want to get your photo taken, it will not be in the yearbook or senior panel. There will be district-wide auditions for the jazz band next Wednesday. Any questions or concerns should be directly towards, directed towards Mr. Schultz or Ms. Villarreale. Also, the Kansas State Marching Band Festival is next Saturday in Manhattan. A check on your weather outside. It is going to be cool and damp today with a high being 69 degrees and mostly cloudy. Temperatures will warm up around the rest of the week and the rain will go away. Highs will be around the mid-70s with mostly sunny skies. Last night in Rocket Sports, the volleyball team swept Clearwater 25 to 5 and 25 to 7. Mulvane 25 to 10 and 25 to 5. That makes the Lady Rockets 20 and 0 in the Rocket season, still number one in the state. They will head to a tournament in Andover this Saturday. Stay up to date with any school community news on Twitter at Rocket Productions or Rocket Athletics. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Chad Thompson. Have a great day.